Okay, Virgo, let's see. Four of Pentacles is throwing me off because it's an energy of either letting go or investing. It could be financial instability. Things I'm moving forward, lessons to be learned here, but it doesn't really make sense because the Four of Wands is up here. This is the energy of marriage. It could be worrying finances. Deep wish fulfillment slow down. Yada yada. Shipping a shipping. I do see coming out of heartbreak here, but I don't see any new action. I just feel like there's too much of a looking to the future type energy here for you, Virgo. Okay, I hate to quote my mom and say, make the best of it, but I feel as though that's what these energies are. Same, because I don't feel like you're going to be coming out of something anytime soon here. With the chariot in reverse. You still have lessons to learn here. In this cycle. So. Hunker down on that spirituality. Open your heart up. Open yourself up. Embrace the lack of forward movement. It's the best that I could say here if you feel stuck. I think it's leading to either some sort of true union of a soulmate or where you're really supposed to be at with the lover's card and the four of wands here. So all this kind of trial and error and running in place, it's not for not. It's not for nothing. It's leading to somewhere, but spirit also wants you not to wait for it because then that means you're sacrificing your happiness here and now. So it's paradoxical. Duplicitous, but you know the deal. Holler for more, please.